Hi, we are the UTD TMOX, and my name is Vincent. My name is Mike. My name is Ollie. My name is Michael. Our project is called Lecture Helper, a website where users can get answers to any question for any lecture. On this website, a user will upload a lecture recording and a transcript of the lecture. Afterwards, a user can submit any query into the first text box, and upon pressing Submit, Natural Language Processing, or NLP, models will provide an answer base on the transcript that the user has uploaded. Additionally, the user can specify a keyword representing the title of a Wikipedia article, and our NLP model will provide an answer based on that Wikipedia page. Now for the demo. I'm going to upload a computer science computation lecture and, and transcript, and enter the first question. Alright, so when a user goes to this website, they can enter a transcript or a Wikipedia article, and then ask a question. And what will happen is that the website will uh, use a an NLP model to help do Q and A's for the user. So it'll answer the user's question using the video transcripts, the lecture transcripts. And it does take a while. Yeah, because we are using one of the better models, one of the better pre-trained models, and it gives you more accurate results over the other models that we come across. So, uh, we're using two more. Oh, it looks like it. Oh, and as you can see, we got accurate answers from both the Wikipedia page and from the transcript. Additionally, we also provided NLP-generated summaries of the Wikipedia pages and transcript to help users learn the big idea of the lecture material. Here at the bottom, we asked embedded the lecture recording into the website so that users can watch the segments where the transcripts answer was found by using transcript stamp timestamps. Uh, now I will enter the next query. So this is really helpful for students who need extra help on uh, watching the videos or reading the transcripts or reading the Wikipedia articles because now this is more interactive. Users can ask questions on this website and the website will respond with the correct answers uh, given the correct context uh, that the uh, user inputted the correct question from the user and the correct video lecture from the user and the website will provide the correct answer. Okay, so as you can see, um, the query was how do floats interact with the vision, um, and our model gave us the answer of the result is always going to be a float, and that is correct. Um, and so we also given the transcript summary and the video again. Um, so thank you for your time, and this is the end of our presentation.